15 weather forecast. Hey, welcome back. It's 11 minutes after 6, and this weekend was very comfortable. Saturday, of course, had a little bit more cloud cover than yesterday. We had plenty of sunshine, but temperatures and dew points were still very favorable. And for today, starting off with that uh, mainly dry pattern, or excuse me, starting off the work week with that mainly dry pattern, that does take us into Labor Day weekend. Now, we may have just a stray chance at a few showers and storms tonight. Most of those will be confined further towards our northeast as a disturbance rolls through. For the first half of this week, temperatures will be pretty close to average and even arguably into Thursday. However, by Friday, especially through Labor Day weekend, that's where temperatures will really start to heat up. And in between now and then, that's where those winds will remain rather breezy. For this morning, though, intervals of clouds and sun temperatures pretty stagnant in the early going, but warming up to about the mid seven or excuse me, low 70s by the mid morning hours. And here's a look at our Nicolay Bank sky cam over the WEAU tower. We have had a couple passing clouds through the overnight, but now we can see the sky starting to brighten up. We are still about 10 minutes removed from sunrise later on uh, this morning. 623 is our sunrise. Otherwise, most of us into the 50s. We do have a couple upper 40s further towards our lower elevations with 48 both in Black River Falls and in Toma and in La Crosse sitting at 58 degrees. Winds have been pretty calm. That's allowed our temperatures to dip a little closer to the dew points. And being that we have that drier air, again, that's what explains that comfortably cool start that we have this morning. Here's a look at the satellite and radar. Again, things pretty calm. There's been just a few stray showers that are heading towards I-39. Otherwise, for today, widespread sunshine, couple passing clouds from time to time. But here's that disturbance rolling through later on this evening. Again, more of the widespread showers and storms, relatively speaking, of course, going to slide further towards the northeast, whereas the rest of us mostly staying dry. Going into tomorrow morning, we have those winds out of the north. So despite the fact that we'll have a good bit of sunshine for tomorrow, we'll actually be on the cooler side. We keep those northerly winds through tomorrow night until Wednesday. We start off with a mostly clear sky and we take that sunshine through the afternoon. But for today, temperatures topping out near the low 80s. Mind you, our average high in Eau Claire this time of year, 78 degrees before tonight, dipping to around 60. We'll have some variable clouds. Again, a few chances at some of those showers and storms. Best chances seem to be towards the northeast. Otherwise, looking at the next couple of days, mid to upper 70s through Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, we start that warm up. Friday, especially getting into the mid 80s, we'll have those winds picking up as well. And by this weekend, you know, we'll have temperatures in the upper 80s and a good bit of us further towards the south, especially by I-90. That's where we'll have temperatures likely climbing back to the 90s. Now for a Sunshine Award today, Nate Bleskasek would like to nominate Mike Hasmer and says Mike always has a smile on his face and he brings so much positive energy to the workplace. Most days it feels as though you are on vacation. Now if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weeau.com.